guess it doesn't matter We've had our thick and thin Enough to know that I would rather not go through Life without you Chico and Poppy show with Poppy and Angelina today. Um, I got done making an asabuco recipe and I always put mashed potatoes underneath and I figured we better do a mashed potato um, episode because I just I don't just put uh, milk and butter in mine. It's gonna be hard for me to give you measurements but I want you to know on how I do it. Um, and how I do the mashed potatoes. I make a really good mashed potatoes. All right, so what I've done is I probably have in here five or six uh, potatoes. I've diced them all up. I've boiled these off. They're nice and soft now here. Okay, so what I'm gonna start to do is I'm gonna add a little bit of milk and you guys are gonna have to do it um, with your own measurements because it's gonna be, it's too hard for me to tell you exactly how much I got in here. All right, I used a lot of butter. I probably got two tablespoons here of butter I'm gonna start with. I use uh, diced uh, garlic here, nothing fancy. Probably about two tablespoons there. I use a um, dry onion, same thing, probably about two tablespoons. These are called garlic dill. Parmesan cheese, which we love, right Angelina? Yeah. We like our Parmesan cheese. I add a little bit of olive oil. See? Surprised, huh, that we're adding this much to our mashed potatoes? Uh, you know what I need, Angelina, is a little garlic salt. I forgot to grab the garlic salt. Um, I think it's on the door right there. Can you see it? Right down a little lower. Right there. Uh, here's our dill. If you had fresh dill, this would taste even better. And I don't normally like to use salt, but when you have potatoes, you need salt really bad. So instead of just using regular salt, I use garlic salt. And you got to do it a little bit and taste it. Make sure you don't do too much, okay? And we start blending and then seeing how it looks. You gotta be careful with your mashed potatoes not to mash them too much. They'll get super starchy if you do that. So the best thing to do is to just continue to taste it. Now I taste that, I can tell that it needs more butter. If you notice here, I don't use lots and lots of milk. I use more butter to loosen it than I do milk. That's getting very close. A little bit more olive oil and some more butter. And then a little bit more of the garlic salt and then we're gonna be just about ready here. are going to be just about ready. Need a little bit more dill, I think. Yep, they taste about right. Okay. Now what I'm going to do now, guys, and uh, some people might think I'm crazy, but when I do like an asabuco, I like my potatoes to be very, very fine. I don't like them to have any um, chunks in them at all. So, on a regular recipe, you could your mashed potatoes like this would be ready, but 
when I have something like an asabuco where I want a really nice fine mashed potato, I'm going to go an extra step. And that step is right here with a ricer. You see that? And Mercy loves it when I do this because she likes to have a mashed potato without any chunks in it whatsoever. I personally don't. I like to taste the potato. I like to have a little chunk. But she is right. When you have an asabuco, um, it's perfect when you have a real, real smooth potato. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just take this cooked potato. That's Everything is done. All the flavors are already in it. My consistency is in there. I'm just going to start pressing this through, see? And that's going to give us a real nice, beautiful, fine potato. And it won't have any of the chunks in it. Mercy will love it. It's a lot of work. But what a difference potato you'll have, mashed potato you'll have, than just the, the regular potato where people just take butter and milk and nothing else. I mean, think about all the stuff that I've put in my mashed potatoes. Once again, I, I say it a hundred times, but it's layers of flavor. And that's what makes the difference. Somebody will say to me, oh, your mashed potatoes are just so much better than mine. What, I don't know what you do to it. And they, they don't understand. They think, well, it's just a mashed potato. What could he possibly have done? It's the layers. It's the layers of flavor. You don't have to just have butter and, and, and milk to do this. This takes a little more time, but it's worth it. So we have most of this done. You can see it's a lot more work. Yeah, I make a mess. When you start doing that whole press, yeah, it gets messy. But There it is. And you're going to have a nice smooth potato. Now, if you noticed, I did all my flavors first before I put it through the ricer. So I already knew that I had my flavors where I wanted them. What you can do here now, if you wanted to, is you could put a extra butter there on top or mix it up in there but there you have it this is what I would call a garlic dill mashed potato all right and remember what grandma Jen used to always say enjoy your life and your food every day thanks everybody we'll see you later what do you say Angelina ciao ciao bye bye